Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. In this video, I wanted to show you how to find the class width for a data set. So when you find the classes for your data set, you want to make sure that all your data values are included in your classes. And then all your classes have to have the same width and your classes, the values of your classes should have the same precision as your data set. So in this first example, our data set has whole numbers. And so what we want to do first is determine what the minimum and maximum values are. So the minimum value, this is a bunch of people who came in for driver's ed. The minimum value is 15 and the maximum value is 24. So we find those two values in our data set. They might not be the first and last, but we still want to find those. So once we know those, we want to determine the number of classes that we want. And that's also often given in the directions. So read the directions. Your instructor might say use five classes or six or whatever. So for this case, let's say that we want to use four classes. So we're going to have four classes. So this is the formula we're going to use. The maximum value minus the minimum value divided by the number of classes. And so we said our max and minimum was 24 and 15. And if we divide by 4, we get 2.25. Now remember that your classes and, and your class width should have the same precision as your data set. So we have something with decimals here, but we want to have something to whole numbers to match our precision. And remember, too, that the brackets mean that we're going to always round up to the next highest value. So even though in regular rounding rules we would say 2.25 rounds to, down to 2, we would in this case say it's going to go up to 3 because the brackets mean specifically here go up to the next highest value of that precision, which means our class width would be 3. And so how you're going to find your classes then is you start off with your minimum value, which was 15, and you add 3 for the next class because that's our class width and that gives us 18 and then add 3 which is 21 and then add 3 which is 24 and there's our four classes our lower values because we're dealing with whole numbers we're going to subtract 1 from 18 and that's going to tell us that our high value here should be 17 and subtract 1 from 21 our lower our upper value for the second class is 20 subtract 1 from 23 and our upper value is from 24, excuse me, um, 24 minus 1 is 23, sorry. And then uh, if you can see that the class width is 3, 17 to 20 is 3, 20 to 23 is 3, and so 23 plus 3 is going to be 26 here. So you know, you can see here that our highest value is 24 and our upper class has more, we have tw up to 26. We don't have any value that's up to 26, but that's okay. Your upper value of your last class does not have to match your maximum value. What, ha what would happen here if we had used 2 as our class width, if we had rounded down to 2? We would have had 15, 17, 19, 21, and then we would have gotten 16, 18, 20, 22, and our values 23 and 24 would not have been included in our classes. So we want to make sure this first thing up here, all the values are included in the classes that you come up with. And they all have to same, have the same width. That is, if I subtract any value along here, I would have gotten 2, or any value on the right side of here, I would have gotten 3 all the way up and down. That's making sure that they're consistently wide, all of our classes. And then they have the same precision, that is, we're dealing with whole numbers, and so we have whole numbers in our classes. All right, very quickly, a second example. I'm not going to show you the data set, but let's say that your minimum value is 37.5 and your max value is 89.2 and you want six classes. So you're going to plug those numbers in, the maximum minus the minimum divided by the number of classes. And what I get here rounded off is 7.567, but your values that you're given are to the tenths place, so your class width should also be to the tenth. If I round that, I'm going to go up to 7.6. Remember, even if this was 7.51, I would still have gone up to 0.6. But this one rounds actually like correctly like we would assume. And then what you're going to do to find your classes is start with your minimum value, which is 37.5, and add 7.6. That gives you 45.1. Add 7.6 again. Add 7.6 again. You're just going down and adding 7.6 each time until you get six classes because that's what you want. Then because we're talking about tenths, you would subtract a tenth 
and go back up here and say this must be 45.0 because it's one tenth less than this. And we're talking about tenths. Here we would know this is 52.7. We're going to subtract a tenth and get 52.6. And we can keep doing that here, 60.2, that is subtracting a tenth from here, and subtracting from the next one, we get 67.8. And we can find our values very easily by going back and doing this, 75.4. On that last one, because you have 75.4, you know that your class width is 7.6. You can just go ahead and add 7.6 to that, and that gives you 83. Point zero. I'm putting the point zero in there because they should all have the same precision that is to the tenths place. Notice our highest value is 82.9 and that will be included in that last data set. These all have the same width. All our data values are included and we've met the, um, all this up here has been met with the right precision and that makes our classes correct. Have a great day.